Television with Queensland's largest regional television operator, QTV, just days before aggregation. QTV chairman Jack Leeson says he was notified of the move late on Christmas Eve, leaving the station less than a week to find replacement programs for its expanded market. TWT Holdings, operator of Wynn Wollongong and RTQ Rockhampton, announced on Monday it had purchased DDQ Toowoomba and would affiliate with the Nine Network. QTV had been negotiating with Nine for three years. Although an agreement in principle had been struck, the parties couldn't agree on the percentage of revenue to be paid to the network for programming rights. If you're talking about uh, lifeblood and most of it, then uh, that's what they were after and that's something that in conscience we couldn't commit ourselves as directors of a public company I feel that we couldn't commit ourselves to sign an agreement which would mean that uh, we would be uh, eventually bankrupt. A slightly reduced figure was negotiated on Monday to be renegotiated possibly to the original levy in five years but that went out the window with the TWT deal later that day. All our aggregation plans have been based on our being a, a nine affiliate. We've promoted the nine affiliate program so it's quite a, a letdown at the last minute to have this uh, change in approach as far as they're concerned. The move means major changes to QTV's programming structure. Already the station has announced a one-hour news format starting Monday into mixing local, national and international stories. We're confident of the, uh, the standard of, of programs. They'll be either uh, through seven or ten. Uh, we've been uh, talking with the ten network and they've assured us of programs without any commitment to them at this stage that if we want to go with them, that uh, their programs will be available to us. QTV spent millions on aggregation, budgeted on Nine's projected revenue. No staff cuts are expected, although natural attrition may become necessary. Ruling out legal action over the Nine Network's surprise decision to dump the station's affiliation. Today, QTV announced it's entered into a new agreement with the Ten Network for program supply, effective from Monday. The 10 move came as no real surprise. QTV had little option but to align itself with the network, with the 7 and 9 networks already signed, sealed and delivered by Sunshine and Star. We've managed to do uh, a deal that will get us on air with programs from Monday and over the next few weeks we'll be sorting out the fine detail, but we don't anticipate having anywhere near the sorts of problems with this agreement as we, as we had with 9 uh, because the cooperation with uh, 10 has been uh, just fabulous. QTV's new lineup starting Monday includes the lead in to the new hour long locally produced eyewitness news Blind Date, Neighbours, Sydney League, Comedy Company Specials, and The Simpsons, which knocked off The Cosby Show in America. Mr. Ashley admits his surprise star wasn't promoting Ten's programs before the shake up. Now, having seen the program lineup that Ten has to offer us, uh, we feel a lot more confident and we think we're going into aggregation with a very competitive program schedule. Attention also turned to the possibility of legal action being taken against Kerry Packer's Nine Network after QTV's unofficial affiliation lasting three years was unceremoniously dumped. Well, we have a board meeting tomorrow and uh, I'm sure that will be on the agenda. An announcement is expected tomorrow.